Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time again. It's time for me to take up another champion to rank five. Now you can see we have a level up event going on right now. The final event, the solo event, is already in. It's skill combat. I've already hit all the milestones for that. Um, I actually did that in another uh, video where I was opening up some crystals. Uh, but as you can see, there won't be enough time. When the skill combat event ends, there won't be enough time for the next event before the level up expires. So I don't have a chance to double dip. Uh, that's why I usually wait to see if there's an advancement, and then I can uh, double dip on the uh, level up and the advancement. But I also have this. Let's take a look at my uh, overflow. And you'll see here what I'm working with. All right, so you see here we've got two science T4 class catalysts in the overflow, and it's getting close. It's getting very close, and I don't want to get caught with these two in my overflow, no level up event on, because then I would have to level someone up outside of the level up event, which is not a problem, but I tend to use my resources during the level up event. And I have to take someone to either rank four, rank five, uh, maybe a four star up, someone. And then you have these T2 alphas. So the four star is not going to use up my T2 alphas. So that narrows my choices down. I can take up a science champion that's a six star, but I don't have the T4 basics. I only have two T4 basics right now. Um, I will have more once uh, the AQ rewards come in and I get more glory, I can buy some more from the store. But I want to go ahead and take up a science champion, use these up, and not have to worry about it. So who to take up? Let's take a look. I'll show you what I'm working with here. So we've got science, and we're going to also do rank up so that it gets rid of my max and anyone that's not ready. All right, so here's what I'm working with. Um, actually, let's uh, narrow it down further to just the five stars because I'm not taking up a six star. All right, so we've got Gladiator Hulk. We've got Wasp. You saw her as a six star. So, no, not doing it. Uh, Spider Gwen thought about it. She'd be fun, but I wouldn't use her more than likely. Uh, we've got Luke Cage, definitely an option. Uh, we've got Red Hulk. He's also an option. I was thinking about these guys. Uh, and here are the rest here. Spider-Man, MODOK, Yellow Jacket, Sentry, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ant-Man, Captain America, and Rhino. Now, these guys here are rank threes, okay, all the way up to... Uh, Red Hulk. So really, we have five. If I'm going to take someone up to rank five, we have five champions to choose from. Gladiator Hulk, Wasp, Spider-Gwen, Luke Cage, Red Hulk. And as much fun as some of them are, Wasp out of the running because I have the six star. Spider-Gwen, don't really use her. Um, she's out. So it would be between Luke Cage, Red Hulk, and Gladiator Hulk. And who do you suppose I'm gonna choose? Well, you may have a hint. Look at the icons. Do you notice a specific icon over Gladiator Hulk? He's being used in war. I use Gladiator Hulk every war. And I'm thinking he's gonna get more use. It's not that Luke Cage or Red Hulk aren't worth it, but I just don't use them a whole lot. Red Hulk in the synergy with Domino, but I don't tend to use them, okay? So we're going to take up our Gladiator Hulk. All right, so here we go. You see all the resources. Let's take him up. All right, Gladiator Hulk. I didn't think I was going to do it. But it's your time to shine. There it is. So Gladiator Hulk has become my latest. Rank five. Five star. 
All right, so let's go ahead and dump all of these uh, ISO into him. And uh, I'm just gonna use these up here. Actually, wait, I might end up taking a, a tech at some point in time up. Um, just to get them out of the way uh, so that I can do this a little bit faster. So uh, with Gladiator Hulk, he is useful when he can get face me active. And in war, I take path one. That is a starburst path. So he has face me active all the time on that path. He is, in my opinion, the undisputed king for path one. Now, in a recent war, someone put a pretty beefy Luke Cage, and I was afraid that I might time out. Shouldn't have been, wasn't a problem. And Gladiator Hulk is good even at rank four. But what really made me think to take him up is in a previous war, and we're gonna take a look at him uh, in a moment here. Uh, in a previous war, my Gladiator Hulk would have been an ideal matchup against this Warlock, but being a rank four, I was a little wary of taking him in. And I also didn't know he was actually gonna do a, a good job there. Um, so now he's rank five, perfect. So we'll see how he does now in war. Uh, let's take a look at his attributes so you can see what he looks like at rank five. All right, so his stats here, you see his uh, tags, hero, avenger, and let's switch over here. So he has low block proficiency, not that great. Um, his critical rating, not that hot. And uh, his critical damage rating, is not good. Not all that great. But keep in mind, when face me is active, all bets are off. He hits harder and he regens, um, I think, what do they say, 70%? We'll take a look at that uh, in a moment here. I uh, just wanted to give you a look at the synergies. All right, and let's take a look at his signature ability, and that makes Gladiator Hulk, okay? That signature ability, um, wait, 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 wait. All right, so let's take a look here. You see his signature ability actually does not matter a whole lot for Gladiator Hulk. He does not need to be awakened. That ability that I was talking to you about, you'll see it in a moment here. There it is, the face me passive. To me, this is more of a signature ability than anything. Because this alone, you see 70%, like I said, he regenerates 70% and notice it says instantly. Okay, so he instantly regenerates 70% of the damage taken. All right, that is awesome. And, and you see that he has an increase in his attack as well while he has face me active. So this being active on path one makes him the best champion for that path. He is undisputed king. Never lost to anyone on that path using this Gladiator Hulk. All right, so we'll take a look uh, a little bit, you know, of his gameplay, but without Face Me Active, he's not impressive. He's okay, but he's not that impressive. But there are a couple of situations where he gets Face Me that you may not think about. Um, Starburst is one. Uh, he gets it with Domino, when she is awakened, I believe, she puts a degen on the crit failure. That activates his uh, face me. Omega Red, his death field, that activates his face me as well. Uh, and there's others that I'm probably not thinking about. All right, so let's take a look at his uh, gameplay. All right, so 
instead of going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier, which would not showcase uh, Gladiator Hulk's abilities at all, I decided to go into Variant. I remember a Variant where we had to fight a Domino. She was like the first fight on that path. It was a Poison Node, and of course it's Domino. So I wanted to show what Gladiator Hulk could do. Now this variant is pretty difficult and they do a lot of damage and Domino does damage anyway. All right, you can see the nodes we have to deal with. Now, the good thing about Gladiator Hulk is that he is extra large. So all of those particle protector size matters, doesn't matter. As an extra large champion, he can fight normally. All right. He's also poison immune, so he can handle that node. All right. So now fighting Domino is horrible at the best of times. All right. Her critical failures are so annoying. But with Gladiator Hulk, her critical failures, since she's awakened, also has a degen component to it, and that activates his face me. All right. So you will see periodically during this fight uh, where his face me will be activated after a critical failure. Now you saw me activate, there's the face me right there. All right. And you saw me activate the fury. Uh, that was one of the synergies I had uh, just so I could do a little bit more damage because that's one of the things with Gladiator Hulk. If his face me is not active, he doesn't actually do a lot of damage. But did you see that? I don't know if you caught that. Rewind, go back and take a look. His face me was active. And when she got that first hit, he healed up 70% of it instantly. So that when she got me with the second part of her attack, it didn't kill me. It just took me down uh, pretty low. But that would have been a one shot. That's why Domino, especially on this note, is so devastating. All right. But you can see Gladiator Hulk survived it. He had face me active. Now, he's not the ideal counter for domino i just wanted to show that he can do it especially on this node because he's poison immune as well but you can see face me is active but it's not active all the time so unlike in war where i'm on a starburst path so that my face me is active all the time this one you have to kind of try to play around it um but he does okay and I'm glad you got to see him get hit while Face Me was active and see it um, heal up instantly and see me basically just taking this domino out. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I may come up with another video where Hulk goes on a Starburst path, but really you see it every time I post a war video. All right. So take care, everyone, and you all. Have a blessed day.